I've got everything ready. That seems to be, like, the new catchphrase at the beginning of every fucking stream is I think I'm ready, and I'm probably not. But hey, captions are on, I have drinks, I have eaten the food, I am doing it good so far. Hi, Devo. I am upset because Lamia has stolen my lettuce blanket, but, oh fuck, that is what I forgot. Thanks, Travis. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, it's fine. Let me get that sorted out real fast. It's true. We appreciate it. <laughs> the annoyance is more with myself for not getting it done on time. But that's okay. Because we can do it now. That's sort of what this this time, time in the stream is for, isn't it? Just hang out. Figure out what I've done wrong. <laughs> but yeah, how are you guys doing? How is it? How are things? How is the soup that required the single onion? Content warnings are updated. And... Game link is updated. Whoa! Okay. Um... I will... Do this. Because I haven't done one of those in a while on stream. Rip it and rip it! Um, I am... I assume ready to go now. Now that the <laughs> links are updated. Yeah! Yee! Good sound! Um... Like I said, I didn't eat, which is, which is shocking for me to do before a stream. I, uh... got a little distracted and lost track of time. Hence why I had to do a food before I started. But that's okay, because we've done it. Uh, and we might play a little, a little later than normal? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I don't got it. I don't got much else. But it doesn't seem like there are many people here at the moment, which is fine. Um. But I'm just gonna kind of breeze over announcements, because we made those earlier today. And we're just gonna... Gonna start the dang game up. Let me know... Uh, if that is too loud and not loud enough, I am trying to reorganize my windows <laughs> so that I can see where everything is, because I don't know what's going on. Um. Wake, where the hell are you? Change of plans. Do you know where Mirror Peak is? No. North of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. We're really just jumping on in, aren't we? I'm through being jerked around by you. see your wife alive. No. I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! He's hung up, my guy. I'm gonna kill him. Are you, though, Alan? I had to get to Mirror Peak. <laughs> we ran to... Jesus, shit. Piss. What? close. Maybe closer than ever before. He's going on. Where am I supposed to go? Why can I not just leave? There is a door here and it is locked. Um. <laughs> right though? Can I? Alan. Alan. Look. My dude. Okay, well, we've done it. <laughs> I've solved the chain puzzle. Um, What did we do last time? We got chased by some darkness, like you do. Um, Alice is still missing. Kidnapper's still kind of being an asshole about everything. Alan is still useless. I do have all my weapons, though, so that's pretty exciting. Let's just go ahead and reload everything. Yeah, we did determine that Alex smells. <laughs> we ran around a lot, I think, was, like, the main takeaway. We did come to, like, this old lumber mill 
that is now a museum, but it's all falling apart, and it's bad here. Oh, God. And that's about all that I, like, distinctly remember, which is fine. We're just here to, to hang out and fight the darkness. Hey, don't fall on me, train. Uh, oh. I literally walked over that. This is fine. I do remember that we determined that we will look at all the manuscripts at the very end of the game. Or at least all the ones that I have managed to collect. <laughs> okay, alright. Look here. Alrighty. What is happening? I'm also just generally trying to remember what the fucking controls are. Great! Oh no. the things throwing themselves at us. <laughs> right, that was a thing. Inanimate objects are getting possessed as well. Like they do. Hey, are you done? Are we done? Are we cool? Are we good? Uh. <laughs> I, alright, I hate swapping between playing Switch games and any sort of PC game, especially when a controller is involved, because also same, and of course he hasn't, of course he hasn't, Fruity. Hi, friend. <laughs> it's not, it's not great. Alan's ass remains unwashed. But hey. Traction kids are still here. So that's exciting. Um. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great. The way Nintendo tends to switch things up. Um. And it's like every single game, every exclusive that they have is practically like different from each other. And it's just... Absolutely ridiculous. What is happening in there? What is happening in there? I would like to not get got. <laughs> it's been long enough since I've played Breath of the Wild that I don't remember what the controls are. Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't appreciate getting bodied by a fucking box the second I get into, um... <gasps> Fruity, did you... Did you get voice mod? Hey, Fruity, did you get voice mod? Hey, Fruity! Did you get voice mod? Not Lobster Man. Not Lobster Man, Fruity. Um... <laughs> Look, look, I'll get you. I'll no get you the full version. I'll throw a little money at you for the full version, because I think I think it's like 20 bucks or something like that. Um. <laughs> the free version is not bad uh, for voice mod, just for anyone who is curious. Uh, you just get specific... Uh, voice, like, specific, uh, mods every... Every week, I think? Right? I also want to throw bucks at you. Let me throw bucks at you. I'm just gonna run over these men. This is fine. Um, but no, voice mod's a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoy even the free version of it. Is this really all 
really needed the car for? Um. <laughs> I thought the kidnapping was go. I thought we got permission to do the kidnapping. Am I, am I mistaken in that? See? See? We got we got permission for kidnapping. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna get back into the car. Since I have figured out how to control it. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hey, everything? Hey, inanimate objects, would you like to stop hitting me? <laughs> this? <laughs> I don't know that this is what they wanted me to do. They have broken my car. My car is broken. Hey! 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 <laughs> hey! Oh no. I am trying to throw a fucking flashbang. Why won't it let me? Okay. Okay. Listen here, fuckos. First you break my car. Then, then you get me stuck in a stun lock. Not happy. I am not happy. <laughs> Let's go. It's Canada time. <laughs> I feel like most places are doing it better than we are, though, which doesn't take much. Stop. Stop. Shit flying at us. Okay. Can we? Why does my camera keep flipping around? Okay, I said most places. I didn't say all places. <laughs> Hey. I just want these stupid objects to stop flying everywhere. Why does my camera do this? Why does it just flip around on me? Please, I am trying to see. Stop! <laughs> cameras though we're just gonna sit here for a minute again I'm pretty sure that this is not necessarily how they want me to do this but this is how I'm doing it and they can't stop me That's all of them, though. I believe that's all of them. I've got the scoriest score of all those gamers out there. I've got the biggest gamer score. Be jealous. I still hate how Epic does their achievements, but uh, whatever. It's fine, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay. Um. <laughs> Look, I'd believe that. 
But until that day comes, I will have the biggest gamer score, please. That water, what have you done, Alan? Alan! <laughs> Already, Alan! <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um. Can't pick up any more batteries. <laughs> that's how. So, one of my monitors is a television. And that's how I avoid the lag. Um. And honestly, like, the lag isn't terrible. It's not. It's not that awful. But when you're trying to do fast stuff, when you're trying to be super cool game gamer kid it does complicate and make it very difficult um i was thoroughly impressed that uh that you got through call of duty as easily as you did considering the lag that was there ellen My god! Oh, uh, one of your televisions is a television? <laughs> I think- I think that counts as two monitors now. Get the fuck away from me! this one it is that button that is the button are you shitting me oh my god <laughs> all right well i found the button for the flashbang great that's wonderful we do love that for us um, what? Trust no one in the dark. Breathing over here? Why? Why are you doing this? Okay, this is fine. Can we go up? Can we go up? Can we go up? Or do you just trust everyone? Regardless of whether it's dark or not. Alan, get up there. Alan, get up there. You're trying, buddy. Alan is bad at this. Alan is very bad at this. Do I... <laughs> Do we climb up here? Alan! <laughs> not the... Not Not the unwashed ass. It's making it very difficult to get anywhere. There's a ladder right there. I'm an idiot. It's fine. It's fine. Anyone would have missed that. <gasps> Thermos. We can get the wine drunk wine drunk wobbles back. Let's go. What, is, what does that say? Follow. That's... Okay. Alright, look here. Listen. I don't wanna. But there's literally nowhere else for me to go. So I'm going to this time, but not because I want to follow you. But because I have to. Alright? Hmm. Hi tree! Hi tree! Hi tree!
Okay, this is fine. <laughs> Open. Is there anything else in here? Absolutely not. Nothing that I can pick up. Let's go. Ellen, through the window. Hello? There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know that. Ellen, you don't know shit about electricity. Or power companies. Or what's standard. My local power company always comes equipped with military gra grade flashbangs. Oh boy. He especially knows something about plumbing. Oh. Facts though. Nada. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Um. I don't think I need to degoop everything, but I kind of like degooping everything, so I'm going to. <laughs> Not Mass Effect Two flashbangs. Cause they're bad. They're all bad. <laughs> it's nice to know that I have gotten better with the dodge. It's still not great, and we still don't like it. But I can time it. Okay, you know what? Let's just do that. And then... I'll just do one of these. I'll just get this big boy out of the way. Please? Okay. Great. Great. We're doing just fine. You're doing great, sweetie. the only praise I will ever give Alan from here on out it's just me talking about how stupid he is how mediocre he is how he needs to work on how long he can run <laughs> come on bud you can do better than this you're doing great sweaty Also, just generally trying to, like, find things. I'm not... I think I've already stated this. I'm not trying to 100% everything. Get all the collectibles and do all the stuff. But I will try to get as much as possible. Without necessarily going out of my way. You know? I see you over there! Okay. Yeah. The, a solid once over. If we happen to find a bunch of cool stuff, great. Great, great. That's great. If we don't, that's fine. I'm not. I'm not hard pressed to do it. <laughs> It'd be real neat if we managed to get stuff. Oh, 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 not me 
almost falling off of this bridge. <laughs> Alan, please. We've already got the wine drunk wobbles and we've only just started. Alan. Alan, please. There is probably a thing over here, though. Like a, a manuscript, maybe? Consider? No, there's, there's jack shit over here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I think some of my issue... With games of this time period, I'll, I'll say, um, is that they give you a mini-map, but it's not really great for trying to figure out where you are in relation to anything no outside of the objective. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. And it's if like... If that wasn't enough, I'd uh, hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Better shotgun. Better shotgun. <laughs> okay, this is not going the way that I want it to. Alan. Uh... Thank you. I would love for Alan to, like, again, just sort of be a little more... Uh... Just be a little quicker about things. Like, buddy, we are very much in a life or death situation here. Contrary to what he might think or feel. Need him to hustle a bit, you know? Um, also more stable. That would also be great. If we could not threaten ourselves to fall over constantly with these little wobbly wine wine drunk wobbles, that would be great. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that the one behind me as well? Okay. Um I mean I get it. I get that the wife aspect is not a strong motivator for him. I can't say I respect that, but okay, that's... It is what it is. <laughs> but... We are also just being threatened constantly with, you know, shadow monsters and stuff. And it's like, buddy, I'm gonna need you to, uh do something for your self-preservation here. Just, again, be a little more responsive, a little less wobbly. <laughs> Not Jimmy Taco. Jimmy Taco wrote that manuscript faster. <laughs> Crowd doesn't know that he wrote it faster, though. Get... handgun ammo. That's upsetting, to say the least. Um. Fuck. <laughs> Absolutely more concerned with this writer's block. We do got shotgun for days, but also, I don't want to use it for days. I do. I do actually want to use it for days. But. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> There's another 
achievement for us. Great. We're doing it so good! I'm proud of me. I was expecting to struggle with this a lot more, um, coming back to it after a week. We're doing just fine, though. Honestly. Hey, chill. <laughs> Do I gotta get feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach? Do I gotta get all the Chivos Alice? then? I don't know. I don't think it's my problem that Alan doesn't wash his ass. I'm not his wife. I'm not the one who has to live with that. <laughs> That sounds like a problem for Alice to address. And or Alan. Alan really should be the one to address it, but he's not going to. So, hold on a second. My lips are super chapped. Super duper ridiculously chapped. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> we, uh... Yeah, I mean, he's not gonna change his ways. Let's be real. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Excuse you? Oh no. No! Get away from me! Did that get him? <laughs> Great. I uh, love how many flashbangs we have. We have gone through quite a few, and yet we still have a decent amount of them. Which is awesome. Um, we've got plenty of, like, regular flares. We got two flares for the flare gun. I would like more ammo for my shotgun and my revolver, preferably. If we could make that happen, that would be great. That's batteries. I don't... I don't really need batteries, game. Hey, listen. Hey. Listen. Ammo, please? Hey, ammo, please. Please. Please ammo um is there anything over here i am genuinely having fun with this game the place was dead <laughs> i know i complain about alan a lot century what the fuck is going on here um i know i complain about alan a lot but i am enjoying this game no car Car. Car, please. Please, car. Okay. Great. Um. Yeah, right? Despite Alan Wake. Alan Wake is a good game. I mean, I have the same feelings about Hamlet. <laughs> Despite Hamlet, the play is fantastic. Um, I don't know. I think it's, I find it fun to complain about Alan Wake, the character in the game, Alan Wake. Um, but it's been fun. I'm enjoying it. The mechanics are still a little funky at times, but like manageable. Um, I'm not super weird. Honestly, my biggest complaint is just, is the dodge. <laughs> Go on, Alan. But I'm getting used to the timing for that now, so that's nice. Um, it does make me even more excited. 
for for when the second game comes out, which we will be playing. Just that's been decided. <laughs> I'm so stoked for the next, like, next year or two. There's a lot of, like, really good horror on the horizon. Um, not that this year hasn't been good for horror either, but there's a lot of stuff that I'm, like, genuinely looking forward to, as opposed to things that I've just kind of stumbled upon. Um... hear that weird breathing does that when i hear the heavy breathing does that mean there are secrets about or is that just an environmental thing i think it's just an environmental thing all right that's fine hmm hey hey fridge hey fridge <laughs> Fridge and stove. There we go. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. There's like no way to dodge these things. Would be great. Cool. Great. I do think that they, uh, I think they changed how, how much your batteries get depleted when you're doing stuff. Cause I have been practically full up on batteries the entire game, or maybe I'm just better about conserving my piano, but I feel like I'm not having to change it nearly as much as I remember having to when I played this, granted, ten years ago. Um. <laughs> right? 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 Yeah, um, when they decide that a tractor or a refrigerator to the face is the done thing, it makes it a little more difficult to, to dodge, to get out of the way. struggled with the batteries honestly <laughs> I remember having a hard time with them but that might just be because baby cage was absolute shit in games they're here more achievements also hey arcade <laughs> it's not wrong it's not wrong no we were just talking about I really enjoy this game, but, uh, Alan Wake as a protagonist, it's ridiculous. I am now using batteries, but that's because these things just don't want to go down. That's okay. That's fine. We got this. Hey! I, <laughs> this game is just dishing out, uh, achievements. For no reason at this point. Um, <gasps> wine drunk wobbles. We're gonna have the wine drunk wobbles. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> um, all right, all right. Shall we go inside? Sorry, still mad at Lamia for stealing my lettuce blanket. 
don't get me wrong, man blanket is very good, which is the blanket that I am currently using. However, it's a lettuce blanket. <laughs> Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I should play this while wine drunk. There's a shoe box filled with books and papers by Thomas. Ooh. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to I... read some of it. <laughs> Here's the thing. One. He writes of muses About and creators summoning fabulous things from wine drunkenness, at least for me. And it's been a while since I've been wine drunk. Realm of okay. And and demons, um, so I'll preface it with that. Wait for a chance to sleep <laughs> the flesh of um, it takes a lot to keep me at Sam wine drunk. About himself, his girlfriend being what does he do? By a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping <laughs> void of darkness above, <laughs> where some love um, presence lurks. But it's just like it's a very fine line to to they ring true. to tread they fit. to be wine drunk. For me, at least, I either am sober or we go into the drunk territory, and not just that like constantly buzzed, but still, I don't know. Wine drunk is hard to maintain. Glug drunk would probably be a little easier. To be fair, Glug Drunk would probably be easier. Do we want to do Glug Drunk Wobbles sometime? Hell yeah. <laughs> I think part of my issue specifically with wine is that it makes my tum tum hurt. Uh, if I drink too much of it, and so to, to get that, ma like, maintaining the wine drunkness, I just end up getting, like, Barfy. <laughs> it's not ideal. The kidnapper had sent me a text. Glug the message was full of spelling though. errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Well, the kidnapper can wait. All right, I'm busy filling up on stuff. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> go home, Allie. And it's a and it's a decent time. I'm happy for you. It's a bad sound. Birds, please. Please, birds. Birds, please. They're not going to come at me because I'm over here. I see how it is. Um. <laughs> Hi, Sam! It's this man again! We're back with unwashed Ash Allen! Un unwashed ass Alan. Why is that so hard to say? How's it going, buddy? How are you doing? How are things? Birds, please. Birds, please. Birds, please. <laughs> Unwashed ass Alan. Uh, birds! We're doing all right. Honestly, genuinely better now that I'm back to streaming. Um. But yeah, we're doing all right. Uh, birds! I just keep screaming about the birds they'll stop being an issue right is that how that works birds please birds please birds you're almost dead birds birds you're almost dead birds okay um yes it was a much needed break 
just given how fucking wild last week was for me. Um, but I'm happy to be back. I'm just... <laughs> it's just nice to see everyone again. And hang out and play video games. And just exist together. You know? Um... But yeah, yeah. What do we got going on? Sam, when is your 12 hour stream? Because I have already forgotten what day it is, but I know it's sometime this week. I, <laughs> I did see Smiley's new, uh, <laughs> Smiley's new emotes. They're very good. They're very good. Um, <laughs> we love Smiley here. They're very good. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. <sighs> it's on Wednesday? Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. 11 to 11? <gasps> you know what that means? That means I'm going to be able to raid you twice. <laughs> Just saying. Wait. No, because you're not central, are you? I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. You're... Mountain? Are you mountain time? Are you an hour behind me? That looks like death water. We're not going to go in there. Hi, Devo. But also, you got this. Make sure to make sure to take it easy. Make sure you got lots of water. Make sure you got you got snacks. <gasps> and and all sorts of things. You are central? Okay. I My brain. I don't know what time time zone anyone is in. <laughs> I don't know what time is. Um. Okay. Well, great. Then that that means it's a hundred percent. I could potentially, in theory, do a raid on you twice. <gasps> welcome home, Allie, and welcome back. But yeah, no, just like. I mean, like, it's going to be really, really exciting at first, but try and, like, conserve your energy a little bit and make sure you've got water and snacks and, like, obviously take breaks for food, but having snacks that you can eat while you're on stream it is also good um, to kind of keep your energy up and make sure you've got lots and lots of water, especially if you've got anything that's got, like, caffeine in it. You got this. The sunglass to plug. Wowie. Tunnel. Tunnel chill. Hi, sir. But you got this. And you know what? If you can't end up doing the full 12 hours, that's okay too. Can everyone stop hitting me? Stop hitting me. I have died. <laughs> Hi, Ams. I love you, too. Happy lurking. I hope your hair is going well, has gone well, will go well. Wherever you are along that process. <laughs> um, but yeah, you got this, Sam. You got this. It's going to be great. <laughs> okay, let's actually take this dang, dang group of shadow men out to a nice dinner and tell them that there are other things they can be doing with their time aside from terrorizing me in a mine and then we'll all be best of friends and it's gonna be great Hallelujah. we could join the shadow men <laughs> We could stare 
coordinate them. Absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful, perfect, 10 out of 10. Okay, let's hide back here so I can see where everyone is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, excuse you! You can't just come out of nowhere. Spawn right next to me. And hit me like this. That's not... That's unacceptable. It's fine. We did do a murder. Fairly quickly. Fairly easily. Great. Right? It's not okay. Can't do that. Alright. On to the next place. Gonna do the next thing. Gonna find the things. Sucker punching anyone during a cutscene is not okay. I could probably name like three or four people that it would be fine to do to. However. Um. <laughs> I'd have to make my way up do this it. Mine Fucking do it. Um, maybe the machinery could help me with that. Streaming has made me realize just how much, uh, how how much I I make stupid songs to sing in my everyday. Um, sometimes it's just the best way to convey whatever whatever feeling I'm feeling. Sometimes you just gotta. Sometimes you just gotta do a sing. <laughs> um, I mean. The streamer slash YouTuber to bad rapper pipeline is real. I loved the goat song. I think the goat song is one of the only songs that I can actually just like pull back up in my brain and immediately start singing without like any sort of issue. Um, like. <laughs> A lot of the songs are like, it's a one and done situation. I've done it the once. I will never remember the tune, the words, or any, or even the situation in which the song arose. Excuse me. However, the goat song, the goat song was perfect. <laughs> it's one of my, the songs in general, one of my many charming features. Uh... If I do say so myself. <laughs> you need, it is clipped. It is clipped from when we did it. But it's uh it's just it's just me singing about goat and how much I love goat. <laughs> and how good the goat is. Goat, 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 goaty, goaty, goat. Goat, goat, goat. Gotta pet the goat. Gotta pet the goat. Good, good goat. I love you, goat. Took me a second. I just was thinking about goats. <laughs> Takes me a moment sometimes, but it was there. <laughs> it is for its, uh, yeah, we were playing Moonduin uh, when that happened, and there is a goat in that dang game, and guess what? You can, you can pet the dang goat. You can pet that goat, and it is. It's so good. It's also just generally a really good game. Um, I very much enjoyed it. And the fact that you could pet the goat did just make it, like, top tier. It's, it's <laughs> one of those can you pet the dog situations, only it's can you pet the goat, and you, you can. You can pet that goat. The goat is perfect. Love you, goat. Um, yeah. Good, good goat. How do I... I want to go there. But how... Do I... It doesn't matter. You know what? Do, no, it does matter. This is how we do it. Um, Duke Nukem back shooting the hands. Moving like Zab Judah? I don't know who that is. Half goat like Krampus and half human. For the goat rap. <laughs> oh, okay. Dragon Dilf song. Did I sing a did I sing a song about Dragon Dilfs? That sounds like a thing I would do. But again, 
The goat song's the only one that just lives in my brain for forever. Every other song, just gone. Thanks. I try. I'm a, I'm a, a jack of all trades, if you will. None of my skills are particularly useful, but boy howdy are they fun. <laughs> <laughs> also, to be fair, the way that we've discussed the Dilf situation around the dragons, calling them dragon Dilfs seems a bit redundant. Because that would just be dragons, dragons, I would like to fuck, right? <laughs> right? 100% redundant. Okay. How many bits for a Dragon Dilf song? For you, Sam? For you, Sam? Free. I don't know. I'll have to think about a Dragon Dilf song. I would want to actually, like... It would either have to be, like, off the cuff. Um, just impromptu. Don't think about it. Just talk about how great those Dilfs are. Or it's something that I feel like I would have to take a lot of time to perfect. Um, you know, <laughs> not, not a fanfic about the Dilfs. <laughs> I'll think about this. I'll, uh, part of, the only reason I hesitate is because I would want to, I would want to name some of those Dilfs. They deserve to be named, but I can't name any of them off the top of my head because at the time... I was just thinking about how great those dilfs were. <laughs> just great. Alan, it's fine. Don't be such a don't don't be such a wuss. You'll be fine. Um, so yeah, real talk. I'll, I'll think I'll think about doing a dilf song for you. Cause I think the world needs a song about dilfs. Dilf hot body. No no. I don't know, it's about the, the crows, not about hot body. Name that Dilf! <laughs> Attorney at law. Are the birds gone? Have they? They are leaving. Oh no. I would like to not be here anymore. Ellen, it's fine. Ellen, it's fine. Ellen. <laughs> It's like, it's like, who's that Pokemon? But it's just all the, all the Dilfs from Spyro. You gotta, you gotta name them. And it's gonna be beautiful and wonderful. Um. <laughs> uh. fine. I almost got smushed by a train. It's fine. Okay. Alright. Alright. This is fine. There's those indestructible beer cans. <laughs> I think I would probably, if we did a, uh, like, who's that Pokemon type, uh, type situation. It would be like Dilfs and Milfs and Pilfs and stuff like that, but just from various horror games. It's just their outline. Put it up. Y'all get y'all get to figure it out while I'm away. And then we get to name name that Ilf. <laughs> I guess Pilf would sit would fit in that situation if we're including both Milfs and Dilfs and Pilfs. <laughs> Allie's got some Allie's got some good ideas. 
Hey, hey, hey. Great. Um. Oh, 100%. It would still include the Spyro Dilfs as well. I mean, it's gotta. <laughs> <gasps> Drive safely, Sam. We'll see you later. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi and talking about good, good dilfs with us. <laughs> Please. Please. Are you kidding me? Hoof. Let's just look. We got a lot of we got a lot of flares in our dang flare gun. Maybe it's time we use it. <laughs> Fluffy Dill. We're not playing. I don't think we're playing that game anymore. I need to get rid of that uh, redeem. But I'll write it down. I'll write it down for you. I like the uh, the abbreviation you've got going on. Just given the uh, the character limit. Oh, hold on. I've like put stuff on top of my mouse now, which doesn't work when you're actively trying to use a mouse to play video games. There we go. issue anymore um I really liked my lovely daughter let me clarify I really liked that game but as far as streaming it was concerned it ended up just being so much of a, a grind towards the end that I wasn't having fun streaming it I wouldn't mind just messing around with it oh fuck in my own time can we stop? There we go. Uh, so if people want to hang out while I do that at some point, I'd be willing to. I'd be willing to do that in the in the server, or at least get us up to the point where like we've got it like super narrowed down. Because <laughs> I feel like we've done. Um, only some daughters, though. I heard y'all running up at me. I can't see what's happening. Um. But yeah, maybe get us to the point where, like, I've reached, the, like, re we are reaching the end. Um, and then stream the very end of it so that we can... Oh, see what happens when we finally bring our daughter back from the dead. But just going through, like, <laughs> the week-by-week -week basis on stream, I was getting... I was zoning out while I was doing it, which is not great. Oh. <laughs> Alan, it was... I don't, I don't think the bridge wobbled that much. Um, I did go through my Steam library over the last, like, week or so to try and, like, organize everything a bit more. Um, and my goodness, <laughs> do I have far too many games. Okay. But I've got everything organized by, like, uh, what games I want to do for streams, what games I'm currently playing, like, off-stream, <laughs> games that I'm just done with but, like, might revisit at some point. We're not- we're never gonna run out of games. We are never going to run out of games. My god! My god! Um, I have, like, over 460 games in my Steam library alone. Uh... And that's not including games that I've just, like, removed from 
my library because I, you know, I played them or don't want to play them anymore. I just, there's, there's too many. <laughs> and I've still got, I've still got my, uh, my spreadsheet going of games that are going to be like coming out sometime soon. So I can kind of maybe vaguely keep track of that. This also doesn't include all of the like Itchio games. <gasps> it's gonna be, it's it's gonna be there. It's gonna be there, and it's gonna be in every single one of my lists because it deserves to be in every single list except for the list of games that I'm done with. It doesn't deserve to be in there. I'm so dang excited, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> about Cemetery Mary getting on Steam. That's just. Sorry, words words are words are being hard. Mouth is not wanting to work with me. Um, it's freaking awesome. It could be on the spreadsheet. I could add it to the spreadsheet. Um, no, but genuinely, it's like it's very exciting for all of us. But I can imagine it's uh, for you particularly. Seeing one of your seeing one of your your creations get out there in the world, even more so now. It's awesome. <laughs> um. Oh, I'm supposed to kick it. Great. That's no. That's a lie. <laughs> Fruity, how dare you slander my name? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fine. What is this? C N and T Z. Tom, Tom, I miss you, Tom. Oh right, Tom Zane and what's her fuck? Tom, 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 Tom. I curse you, Tom, Miss Zane. Well, that uh, did you write this? That took a that took a quick turn. Is that all that's down here? So, uh, <laughs> yep, you got <laughs> you got a new a new single for me today. We call it Tom. <laughs> Can't help that I just want to sing everything. Is there? I'm. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see. I understand. It wasn't, it wasn't planned. I didn't plan to sing while Sam was away. It just happened that way, okay? I'll sing songs when Sam gets back, if Sam gets back. Heck, I'll record a song just for Sam. <laughs> Item limit reached. I can only have 20, 20 flares. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was, if you could stop shaking, that would be great. Ah! Okay, last flashbang. Last flashbang. That's fine. We did it. It's fine. Everything is fine. It's all fine. Hey. I can't tell if that shelf that's wiggling over there is gonna attack me, or if it's just the environment being funny. It is the environment being funny. Great. Should've probably just used a regular flare, but uh, it's, it's super wiggling. It is just going. It will not be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you would, Fruity. Okay, can I go back upstairs now? Um. That's fine. You can trust Shelf. Shelf seems fine. For the time. Ah! Okay, can we... I think we're gonna take a short break. 
I need to use the restroom. <laughs> um, we've been going for about a little over an hour, so uh, a short break seems fine. It's pee time, y'all. Um, as per usual, as I get up to go do my thing, take this time to stretch, to get a snack, to drink some water. Do whatever you gotta, and we'll be back in, uh, in like two minutes. It's gonna be short. It'll be fine. I am back. Um. It's more than a couple of minutes, but you know what? Whatever. It's fine. Uh, sorry, I have to get everything back in order. Hey, Spotify. Hey, Spotify. I need you gone. I need you to go away, Spotify. All right. Shall we do some more? Where are we? <gasps> Wine thermos. Da down? Down. We go down. It's down time. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. Oh. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Hold on, sorry. I... 
I need to be better about wearing my wrist brace because I hate the sound of that. Um, I've been doing it bad and playing Nino Kuni in bed at night <laughs> and doing this and like torquing my wrist all night to hold my switch up. <laughs> above my face. I was close now. Uh, has not been fast. has I not been very kind to me. The switch is not ergonomic in the slightest. <laughs> it's great because it's so dang portable, but oh boy, <laughs> is it a pain in the ass to hold. <laughs> and I don't know, my my joints in general have just been super shitty anyway. Wait. Yo! Same! Allie! I'm I'm coming. <laughs> I like, no matter how you lay, like, your hand or, like, your arm will go to sleep. And it just... Awful. Terrible. I'll try to, like, lay on my side and play that way, but it doesn't work very well, because then my arm falls asleep, but then holding it above my head, my hand falls asleep, but then, like... Laying on my stomach and propping myself up and playing that way hurts my wrist and my arms. Also, I like how this man is just screaming in the background. And I'm over here being like, <laughs> my little wrist hurts. <laughs> my poor baby wrist. <laughs> but no, wrist health is important. Braces are, braces are great. Bye, guy! Crunch. Alan, you just threw your flashlight! You idiot. I did get, like I said, my joints in general are just shit. Um, I did get these really cute knee braces that are all, like, galaxy-themed <laughs> that actually work as, like, compre compression braces. The last couple of ones that I got had been absolute shit. Um, that's alright. Ellen doesn't need it. He doesn't need a flashlight. It's fine. Right? Uh, I've got two of them. I don't know where the other one is at the moment, but they're, like, super cute! And just, like, they're great, and they're very comfortable. And they've been helping, which is the big thing. <laughs> I got them from Bibby Pins. Uh, it's B I B I P I N S. Very good. If other people want to get stuff, I think they've got um, compression wrist wrist braces that are coming in soon. I am skipping, because I don't know if that's, uh, copyright or not. And I wouldn't be shocked if it is. telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the Dark Presses before it attacked me. <laughs> Rip. Episode four, the truth. How many, how many episodes are in this? Shh, baby, it was just a nightmare. Alice. <laughs> Hartman. Look, I fell. I had to can you imagine Don't fight if Alan Wake turned into a romance? Room. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. <gasps> Wait, is this the hospital bit? Or the, like, the retreat or whatever? The Are the Anders brothers here? Anders? Anderson? No, you're, the brothers. You're, lying. you're suffering from various Sir. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Sir. Yes. It's okay, okay Alan. Just I let fucking love the brothers go. so much. There are more than three chapters. Thank you, Travis. <laughs> Thank you for the confirmation. I am going to double check real fast. Um... Because we've been doing more or less like a, a half a chapter. I 
Whatever to a full chapter. Me was making me there are six in total? Okay. I felt like this was happening to someone else. We someone might have this done the by next week. I couldn't Or like think. at the start of next couldn't week. Focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Well, dang. The right, door class. Was locked. I was a prisoner here. Classic six act. Let me out! Hey, nope. I, I, evening, I'm Alice. trying to. I'm Are trying to get through. Now? Feeling calm? Sir, why? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. Okay. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit. Let me through. Huh? I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't. <laughs> the way his head is I just. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Bye! Oh. This corridor is for patients. Never mind, he locked the door. Right now. Jack Fuck you. Out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Let me I through. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Bye! Burp. I hate this man. <gasps> it is Anderson. Great. I love I love the brother so now, much. From past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Mm. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucination, paranoid delusion, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. You your have just described... has constructed described... an elaborate fantasy scenario. Never mind, it's fine. In which your writings are affecting reality. Man, I need you to stop talking to me. Natural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. My guy. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Oh my God, he's so far back there. <laughs> Why is he so? Slow. Why is he so slow? Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. T. Z. In the memory of a dear friend and a poet. Great. He's dead. Can it's you? It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Oh. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind uh -huh. trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Okay. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? Mm. You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? It's very Our foggy. Spread below us. I could see near a peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. No Funny, shit. I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, uh. no matter. <laughs> way, follow me. It's because the view said no. He now tried. I'm telling you is good news. Right but the view was like, mm -mm. I got standards. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. 
I just imagination is what you work with. I just all, hate crackpot doctors. This should come as an immense relief. <laughs> if it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. Sir. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the myself. palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you Alan, accept what are you that, doing? we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. I would love to. You're in the way. Well, here's Hi, the how entrance are you? to the office wing. That's for staff only. Scary, scary, scary. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is this is me with my cats. Bad dream, Mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night. That's for sure. Please, that's Emerson, that's me with my animals. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or what you <gasps> have it. Kitty cat. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Back to Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on Elbow video strike. gaming. Ooh, yeah. It's ah, trash, yeah. of course, yeah. but... It does I'll involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. If we needed no to hate Dr. Hartman anymore, there it is. Can we go now, faster? You might have the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, we should continue. Welcome to Culture Lake Lodge. Uh, we're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged in their creative processes. <laughs> Maybe. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntary, uh, voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy, TM, and its sister method, the flow, TM, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. I would like to voice my concern over everything we're doing here. This all seems like a crock of shit, and I need to leave. <gasps> but also, the Andersons are here. Killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, also, they're playing Night Springs. Storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and brothers. Tor. Odin and Tor. They had a. How can I put this? It's a heck a of a painting out there. Band in the 70s and 80s. I love them. The gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. Love them. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh my god, I hate this man. No, that won't do. I hate so this sorry. man. Cut this short for now, Alan. Yeah, if we can shoot him, that would be great. Now, I'd better go Hell, I don't even have to wait for him to turn into a shadow scene. monster. Let's just take care Meanwhile, of it now. When you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? No. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, Bruh. He'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. He's yeah. crazy as a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world <laughs> when it's like this? <laughs> it takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The end 
competition for Valhalla. Everyone see why I adore these men. Lest we forget a crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Oh. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. We love the Andersons. Also, is that a manuscript page in there? It is! I want it! Mm. We'll probably get it later. I don't think I can get in there for now. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Unless... <laughs> don't worry about it. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't look anything like it. I was just by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint <laughs> landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. Have I you think I'm your getting butthole. better. Get up, butt up, butthole. Um, this just makes me think of The Sims. When you trap a bunch of people in your house and you make them you make them work for you by making paintings or drawing or uh, writing books and that kind of stuff and then you sell their work to to fund your home and then you don't have to actually do anything and give the writing a shot huh typewriters in your room because everyone else is doing the work and you're getting all of the money from their work and it's really great <laughs> you can get to your room could, by those stairs. We could build this house in The Sims. Consider, consider though. <laughs> Something's wrong. Oh, I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything yeah. else is a blur. <laughs> I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is. <laughs> I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. <laughs> Sir. Um, I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saying that. Not the clown the painting. Mind. Also, need to get the story at once. And the hold story on. Will come we. I am sure that I have missed a few of these. But because I'm curious. We'll go ahead and scan the QR code, and I'll post what I assume is a YouTube video. Yup. Um, into stream spoilers in case people want to check it out. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew Vision I could, three. Okay, maybe we I have it. I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with. I guess we technically missed the like first one. Um, since the. First one that we found was Vision 2, but this is Vision 3. There you go. That's in stream spoiler uh, spoiler discussion if people want to check it out. I don't, I don't know how invested people are in this. I watched the first one. It was very neat. They're very short, which is nice. Um, but yeah, no clown painting. <laughs> Just every painting. Oops. Sad clown. Okay. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. So dramatic. My hands began uh, to shake uncontrollably. Mm hmm. I'm glad that they, like, I know that I didn't, haven't finished Control yet, 
But I do like hey, the fact that they like actually here. just incorporated the video, you like their little, what you're doing. Be the cool, little video okay? bits into the game itself, as opposed to having them be sort of an optional thing. I don't necessarily know where they would have like fit that into this particular game. Um, I'm sure there's places that it could have fit, but I kind of wish that they had done that. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Oh my god! That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. Right. That's where he'd be keeping them. Come on! Yeah. Again, like I can, I can understand why they would have done it because I don't know. They're odd enough. Like the videos themselves are odd enough that people might have like responded negatively to them. But also, I feel like so much of this game is already weird that just having those like <laughs> those little flashy bits wouldn't have uh, really deterred anyone. Markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't believe the idea. Um. But yeah, I'm glad that they've like since then figured out a way to incorporate that kind of stuff into their games. Makes me really excited for for Alan Wake too. This photo. Wait. <laughs> this picture, though. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. Why would you have this camera. picture? Hartman had been playing me all along. Blown up and like put up on the wall. That's such a. It's so bad. Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shreds. Is that Barry? Barry? <gasps> Hi! About time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. Graphic design is his passion. Oh no. Oh no. These are all the pages I had already. <laughs> and more. Oh no. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> oh, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. <laughs> oh, Al, let's just Barry! <laughs> just do what I tell Wait, you. Listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. And that's very upsetting. Why? Why are 
aren't you opening it? What the fuck was going on there? What? Okay, all right, look here. Oh, okay, I, okay, all right. To get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. We gotta go upstairs, and I don't know where the stairs are. What is hitting me? <laughs> Understand what was hitting me down there, but whatever. Let's just get this going. Fuck your furniture. Okay. Can I not get got by everything in this fucking room? Holy shit, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, just like The Sims, 100%. <laughs> also, not the, not the toot plug. Okay, let's see. Oops, oh my god. Destroy everything here. Smiley's got Smiley's got some good emotes. <laughs> Two plug is a thing. It's happening. Oh my god. Alan, walk like a fucking human. Okay. Not a flying tube plug. That shouldn't be floating around. What is happening? What am I doing? Two plug, 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 two 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 two. Two 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 two. Very good. Oh! Can we- sorry, I do not want to be here anymore. I would like my flashlight back. I would like my weapons back. I would like to not be useless anymore. Toot cute! Toot cute! Can I? Oh, you're doing this, are you? Dude. Come on. Please, it's not even moving that much. I would like to leave! Come on. Ah! Sorry. It's just, I'm bad at dodging, and I just don't want to be in here anymore. And I would like to leave, and I would like to go. Ow, ow! I'm here! Great. Great, Barry. Can I have that flashlight? Hey, Barry? Can I have that flashlight, Barry? I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Cool, give me your Barry, flashlight. I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Thank you. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look at it. I'm sure it's fine. 
I'm sure it's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, jeez, how? Very. Of course the house looks bad. It's a fucking lodge. <laughs> They're not known for their uh, beautiful aesthetic. Alright. Hi, Emmy. How's it going? <laughs> no, I said I'm not actively being fucking taken out by, uh, by inanimate objects. My god. Hi. There we go. Don't trust a mill. Okay, well I don't. That's Hartman, right? <laughs> Hello? Oh, there's a meaning script page there. Okay. <gasps> Hi, Smiley! Bat trees! Bat trees! It's bat trees time! Time for bat trees! We got two plugs with sunglasses in here. It's very good. You did you did good with the two plug emote, basically, is what we're saying. Oh fuck. No. Get me out of the goddamn corner! Okay. Oh jeez ow. I would like to not be here anymore. <laughs> toot 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 is what we're saying. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Accurate. Correct. Fucking hate this. Toot 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 toot. Toot 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 toot. Toot 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 toot. Hello? Uh, sorry, I would like to be out of the hedge maze. <laughs> I only really like this section because the Anderson brothers are here. And that's delightful. They are delightful. Everything else about this section, not so great. <laughs> My quiet trombone impression. Thanks, Arcade. I do I do what I can. <laughs> oh Okay. Then then let them come. Where are they? Are they are they are they gonna come or are they not? Hey. Anyone else? Anyone else? Also, how can Barry see them before me when they are in this dang maze? Right? Oh, that's how. I understand. Uh. <laughs> Isaac needs a pair of cool sunglasses. Okay, can we... 
I mean, okay, that's fair. It would not cheer him up. <laughs> but he would look really cool! I can do a hydrate. Thank you, Ami, for the hydrate. Reminder, everyone else do a hydrate, too. It's important to stay hydrated. Also, hold on, before I do that... Fuck you, Lamia! It's my blanket! <laughs> she finally got up. So we got the lettuce blanket again. Alright, now I can do a hydrate. Good, good water. Good, good water! She is staring at me as if I have committed a, a grave sin. <laughs> It's my dang blanket, Lamia. You get sparrows in the morning, and then you'll be nice and calm all day long. Not this man. <laughs> but it's my blanket. Sir? that the birds taken care of? Oh. Bad, bad sky raisins. He's not, his thing isn't getting any smaller. I can't dodge. I am stuck against something. This is some bullshit. His, his circle's not getting any smaller, is it? He's just, like, invincible right now, which is trash. Which is trash. Sir. Attack me all at once, preferably. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go. Oh my god, Alan! Run like you have a place to be! Ugh. It's fine. It's all fine. Everything is fine. My god! Okay. Probably best that we died back there because I wasted so many batteries on this man who wasn't dying. Shh. 
<laughs> okay, but genuinely, I need Alan to move like he has some. Oh my god. Thank you for the quote, though, Travis. We appreciate it. I need. <laughs> I'm just- I'm just tired of Alan and his stupid nonsense! He needs to just- he needs to be quicker about everything. downside that I I mean aside from aside from the dodge being weird sometimes my biggest complaint is that they just it, they just throw a ton of enemies at you and it's like that's fine I suppose but also I should be able to see the enemies Stop. and this just getting hit by inanimate objects I need a better means of fighting the stupid wheelbarrows and trains that get thrown at me. The checkpoints are at least, like, kind for the most part. So even if you die a ton of times, it's not like you have to, like, go through a, a whole ton. Kneel me, Tom, do it! Um, it's not like I have to go through, like, a ton of different... or backtrack too much to get back to where I was previously. Um... Mama! Hi, baby! Um... Hey, hey, I was trying to- I was trying to look! At the bit of yellow over there! I feel like so much of it just relies on, like, being ambushed, which is fine. Again, like, I don't necessarily mind that, but it just, like, sometimes the ambushes are just super cheap. <laughs> and, like, not great. Like, getting sucker punched while I'm in, a, in like, a cutscene where they're showing me where enemies are coming from, but they spawn one in right next to me. And it punches me in the jaw. It's not a Souls-like game. <laughs> but it is like Dark Souls 2 in that they just spawn a bunch of enemies in. And hope to take you out just by sheer numbers. Um, no, I mean, generally it's fine and it is manageable. There's just been a couple of times where, like, the enemy gets spawned in so close that it's like, I there's nothing I can do about this. That's where Barry is. So before we go over to Barry, um, again, it's, for the most part, it is manageable. Uh, there's just been a few times where it's like, wow, this is cheap and there was no way for me to be able to, like, handle this. Hi, Stinky. You laying down? What are you doing? Where are you? Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm not, like, rolling over a cat. Hi! <laughs> okay. It's a llama bean. A good, good llama bean. Hi, Barry. Oh, you're alive. Yeah. Can we Let's open this? Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so uh. Uh-oh. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. 
I can get this large lad out of the way. Okay, look. I know there's a second one, but oh my god. That! That whole thing. Like, they're literally just swarming you. Hey, David. How's it going? <laughs> And it's not even necessarily because they're much more powerful than I am. It's literally just, nah, there's just too many of them. Okay, never mind. Let's... Oh, fucking hell. That didn't take out the large lads like I wanted it to. Okay, that's fine. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Um, how's it going, man? How are you doing? How are things? Are you shitting me, Barry? Ah! Okay, great, we've done it. <laughs> why is the, why is there still a cardboard cutout back there? The nearest, you're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, you're doing well. I'm we doing all right. It, I don't care what says, I'm done with darkness. Making it through. Bed I'm kid. happy to back, I'm be back streaming, it. honestly. <laughs> Cardboard cutout is very good. <laughs> so that should be the next thing I add to my wish list, right? Is a an Alan Wake cardboard cutout. We just have it creep in the background, right next to man juice. I'm crazy, okay. but that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest- But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. How? I know. Listen, <laughs> I can bring her back. No, I can find her. There's something special about this place. <laughs> you right? It does something to It'll just the show up in different places it in the background every once in a while. It's fine. It catch. The dark we'll never mention it or point it out. Twist it to its own ends. People will be like, what's up with the, the cardboard cutout? And they'll just be my like, manuscript to take over everything. Ow, what? I believe you. It happened to Thomas Sane before. It happened to the Andersons. <laughs> I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not the real deal. Real <laughs> shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. Oh, the my Andersons goodness. knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. Is it? There's a message somewhere at their farm. Did you say it's... You just need Good to soup. find it. Look out! Good soup. Wait, what? I thought Barry was driving. Why did Barry yell at Alan? I am confusion. I had lost my gun in the crash. Of course you did. Where to be seen? Oh boy. Barry! Okay, can we heal? Thank oh, you. Man, you're okay. Jeez, it's good to hear your voice. I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop. But don't worry, your cutout is fine. I don't forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down though. It's like a sheer wall. But I'll just slide hey, down. There's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. You're the player, Barry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess he never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Oh, God, I love Barry. I love Barry so much. You have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. 
<gasps> there he is, and he's got the cardboard cutouts! Now he's right. ah! This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Look at him! Alan, I need you to not threaten to go off. I'm sorry, I'm just having fun watching Barry run around with this stupid cardboard cutout. Slash the fact that they have animated him for that entire run is very good. There he goes. There's our boy. Be safe, Barry. I want to know exactly at what point he despawns. Is he just standing there now? He's just standing there. Okay. Um... <laughs> Right? I miss Barry as well. Barry's a good boy. <laughs> hey, Earth, can you not shake? Hey! Hey, game! Chill! No, I don't have a light! <laughs> This is not ideal, especially since Alan doesn't like to run. I'm gonna die. It's not gonna be great, but I'm gonna die. <gasps> is that a flashlight I see? Alan! <laughs> Goodness. Nope, that's a manuscript page. Great. <sighs> stamina bar. I need a stamina bar. If you're gonna give me limited stamina, at least let me see how limited it is. I need to be able to know for how long I can run. Please. Are you shitting me? I just wanted the thermos! <laughs> just let me have the dang thermos! <laughs> okay. Right? Or like... <laughs> there have been plenty of times where I've stopped and like... Please. Uh, where I've stopped and like thought I had given it enough time to like re-up on the stamina, but it hasn't. And so I tried to run again and then he's just like... No, I think I'm just gonna, like, lightly jog. And it's like, Ellen, buddy, I need you to work with me here. Do I have to pick all of that back up? <laughs> I do, don't I? I do have to pick all of that back up. <sighs> Secret stamina is the worst. No breath holding. None. Oh my god. And again, there's no great way to see to dodge out of the way of all these these items. These terrible inanimate objects. Right? <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's about time you take this seriously, buddy. Uh, have the difficulty based on how fit Alan is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> please and thank you in general can someone just do that for for a video game can you please just make it that it's like easy modes like you're you you've participated in like the iron man triathlon like 50 times you're solid you got this running for days and the hardest difficulty is like you don't know what the meaning is like, you don't understand what cardio means or some shit like that. <laughs> Please. <gasps> Hi, Dougie! How's it going? How are you doing, friend? How was your Lego stream? Oh my god, that barrel wasn't- Oh, I'm gonna die again. 
and I'm gonna be very upset because it's gonna mean I'm gonna have to collect all that shit again. Um, I'm glad you're doing well. We're doing pretty all right. I am getting absolutely destroyed by barrels and train cars. But you know what? It's okay. <laughs> We're here. We're happy to be here. Um. <laughs> Look, messy streams can be fun. As long as you had a good time with it. That's all that matters. This is 100% Donkey Kong. I'm playing as Mario. Um, and I have to dodge the barrel. <laughs> And I am doing it bad. <laughs> Look, I can I can respect the fact that he is just taking the shit to the face and like rolling with it. But I'm not gonna let that be an excuse for him to not still be run better. Somewhere around here, power up the old lights by the gate. <laughs> he can he can still do it better. I know he can. There's nothing over here. Great. Love that. You love to see it. Is there anything over here? Absolutely not. This is just, this is useless space over here. Great. Wonderful. Got it. You gotta, you gotta go, Alan. Alan, it's time to go. Um. <laughs> Again, as much as I complain about Alan, I, I do still the in the enjoy ahead. this game. Facing the enemy <gasps> I have a flashlight. I have a flashlight. Everything is great because I've got a flashlight. Sorry, we're full of songs today. As you can tell, it's just a song kind of day. What are you going to do about it? Fucking nothing. Oh. Sorry, that rock scared me. <laughs> This is fine. Do I? I don't have a gun still. I still don't have a gun. <sighs> Alan! just gonna go <laughs> right though oh my god Alan's just failing checks constantly left and right letting letting the killer know where he is at all times I don't know where I'm supposed to go please please why are you doing I didn't tell you to do that! <laughs> Alan! Alan! I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. <sighs> the enemy without I need a gun! I, no choice. I need a. I need a gun! <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Let the killers know. No, they don't. Gorgeous, go gorgeous, gorgeous girls! loop that killer around those around those pallets constantly <laughs> he doesn't even know how to use the flashlight <laughs> i do like relating this game to dvd though real talk run alan run alan run I need you to fucking Oh my god. Um I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There are no weapons. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. The in the Shut up, Alan! The enemy without a weapon is dangerous, but I had no choice. I can't I can't get to this generator fast enough. Because somebody doesn't want to run. 
driving away from the farm headed in the same general direction as I was for all I knew it was Barry caught in the consequences of leaping before looking okay well worry about your own damn self right now Alan <laughs> all right we're kind of having a shitty shitty time of things right now take the flashlight don't stand on it take it take flashlight take Great, we got it. Woof! I would like a gun of some sort. Give me the a gun, please. The cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. What are you talking about, Helen? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh dang goodness. Boof. Boof. Is that a manuscript or was that just my flashlight being weird? That was my flashlight being weird. Great. Hello? I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. She just I had seen glimpses of the life of him. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing Space the pages man. on my path. I tried to interact with that to, to keep it from snapping, and I forgot that it just snaps anyway, regardless. You can't Oh my god, there wasn't even a light there. Fuck off. Who needs this many bear traps? No. <laughs> Need to go. I don't want to be here anymore. I gotta go. Pretty sure things are chasing me right now. It's fine. Pick it, pick it up. Pick up Someone the shotgun. The gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. <laughs> She's got a suppression perk on. I don't remember what it's called. Taken her filled with darkness. But there's a perk that lowers your. Uh, Your radius. Your terror radius. Hello? Hi. <laughs> Bye. Fucking hell. We got trapper and huntress out here. If there's bear traps everywhere, it's unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> Keep saying it, but I want to start playing DVD again. Okay, where do we go? Towards the bear traps? But not into the bear traps. Hi, all.
please stop following me? Can everyone stop throwing things at me? I don't like it. Ellen, how do you miss with a shotgun when they're that close? Because clearly this is a problem with Ellen and not me. It's not my fault I'm not allowed to properly aim and just have to kind of hope <laughs> that I'm pointing in the right direction. Alan's fault. Thank you. <laughs> but genuinely, it's like I don't even have like a, a. I don't have any sort of means of aiming. I just have to hope. Hope. Alan. Alan, now is not the time to start running out of energy. Alan! <laughs> Alan's the worst. I think we've all agreed to this. Car, but there was no sight of the driver. Knock, knock. Hello. I'm in your house now. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry. I'm sure it's fine. It doesn't sound like anything we need to get involved in. <laughs> Hello? Camera, what are you doing? Uh, I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again. Shine, you know, it makes you see they're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy Danny, I lost him. Uh huh, okay. Something's gone wrong with him. That's great. I'm gonna, every <laughs> I'm gonna leave you be, man. If I continue like the dark presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. And it's going to kill her and me and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Not Dark every horror story, story ends with everyone dying. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Out! Get out the door, Alan! My shotgun yes. equipped. Danny, huh? In a horror story, it can't be um. that the hero will succeed or even survive. <laughs> it's true, it's true. But you know what? All good things must come to an end. I'll make it happen. And the brothers are no different. As much as we love them, if it's their time, it's their time. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. <laughs> All good things must come to an Alan. Oh no. <laughs> we'll do what we can to, to, to make sure the brothers are all right. All right. I can't promise nothing, though. Alan's shitty writing might, might get them killed. What does that say? Please do not recycle. Do they, though? Consider. nothing in there <laughs> again we'll do what we can I don't get to I don't make the rules here I don't get to decide who lives and who dies if only I had that kind of power if 
Jerry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For Who moment, says he has to be in trouble? Down. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. What does that mean, Alan? I feel like Barry would be pretty pretty able to like take care of himself. Um it's true. <laughs> They are Alan's rules and Alan sucks. So if they die, it's not it's not my fault. And that's just one more reason why we should be upset with Alan. Sorry, what is that over there? That's a mailbox. But there are things in here. So says the little the little arrow. This place sounds angry. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Also, what time is it? <laughs> Spooky, scary mailbox. Watch out! Okay, it said that there was a thing here, and I see nothing. Game. Game, did you lie to me? Game, how could you? Here? Can I... I can open it. It does open door does open. Okay, let's take the revolver ammo, as well as all the stuff that's in here. These, like, these caches are, I think, one of the main reasons why I'm willing to kind of, like, wander around and explore, because they give you a lot of good shit. Like, we got some, we got some flashbangs now, which is dope. Um... As well as plenty of ammo. I think that's the direction they want us to go. So what happens if I go up? Is this blocked? <laughs> or does it just circle around? What's here? What's this? We've been here, right? Also, we might just play until the end of this chapter. Like, we might as well, right? <gasps> Hold on. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that Give me the hunting the rifle. Is uh, Boys, the but... will last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to hunting that, rifle we, uh, is stronger. That missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department is still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim, and blonde with blue eyes. Lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her details and tell the sheriff. Okay. Whether you brought out any sort of thing. Please. You gonna you gonna try and get at me from the rock, my guy? Okay. That's cute. <sighs> to the farm. Probably. Everything is slippy and slidey. Toot cute. Toot cute. No breaking. Oh, wait. This is just a shortcut. Or I guess another way to go where we were going. Okay, that's fine. I see, I see. Why is this car so bouncy? And so slidey. Well, that's not ideal. 
It's true. We can be the horses. Whee! Or I can get these shadow guys to be horses. <laughs> I refuse to get- if I have a car, if I am in a vehicle, and there are shadow monsters about, I will not get out of the vehicle until the shadow monsters are dealt with. <gasps> Do love me some long horse. I do love long horse. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta drive away. <laughs> Crane Angie Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Can't get fired if no one finds out. What's over here? Is there anything cool? <laughs> Can we fix it? No, we can't. <laughs> Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Can I open this? Nope, Alan says no. We're not allowed to go in there. I haven't thought about Bob the Builder in a hot minute. What the fuck? <laughs> that, brought, that brought a lot of weird childhood memories. <laughs> All right. caches. Great! <laughs> Sounds about right. Sir! That's not what I wanted! I need this game to not auto-change weapons at all ever. I'm gonna die. This is- this is it. We're gonna die! Okay. Holy buttholes. Holy two plugs. Okay. <laughs> I would like to... Why are there fireworks everywhere? Toot plug. Imagine I'd known the brothers plug. used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. <gasps> it's the best part. Best part of the whole dang game. Why is it lagging like it is? <laughs> Two plug was best emo. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Johnson. Shut up and shoot. <laughs> the Andersons are the best, honestly. Please! I'm just trying to get items! Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh my god! The stun lock in this game is fucking ridiculous, by the way. I would love to! Will you let me choose my weapons? Stop! Oh, hold on. I'll try to get 
Barry, Barry, I love you, but I need you to stop talking for two minutes. Alan, I need you to not be an idiot for two minutes. Woof. Take the better fucking flashlight, Alan! <coughs> I also so love Barry. Just... Hold on a second. <gasps> Welcome home, Sam. Also, thank you for the thank you for the sub. I don't know why the the there it goes. A little slow today. It's fine. I'm home now, smiley face. Also, five dang months. This is wild. Thank you, Sam, for the sub. I'm glad you're home. You have missed many songs. I'm sorry. It has been a it's been a sing songy day. Sometimes it just be like that. Okay. Okay. Sir. It just means you gotta go back. That's all. It's fine. Barry Wheeler to the rescue. Barry Wheeler. Stop. I love it. Okay, take your time. Don't worry. It's fine. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um. <laughs> I will catch up on what's happening in a minute. Yes, Stay in the light. Get away from me! I think wild Twitch experiences the best, especially given how wonderful and wild we all are as well. <laughs> Not Mother Toot Plug. Not Mother Toot Plug! Done it. Church of Mother Toot Plug. <laughs> All hail Mother Toot Plug. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> that was awesome. It was pretty great, Mike Barry. Balls, rock and roll capital of America. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten. Would do again. Hey, Al, this way to the farm. Okay, hold on, Barry. Give me a minute to pick up items. 
buddy? Okay. There's a lot happening, and I haven't had any chance to look around and grab all the things. I don't think. I might have, actually. Alright, this is fine. Let's go. Who is the Pope? Um... The little, the little blob that says, It's good to be wet. It's good to be wet. He's, he's the Pope of, uh, the Church of Mother Tooth Plug. JK. It's Doug. <laughs> Double poping up in here. It's Dougie and Smiley. <gasps> There's a thing there. I did miss a thing. Go, Pope. Excuse me. <laughs> mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. <laughs> Planning ahead for vacation times. Very good. Very good idea. Gotta have somebody to be there for vacations. Gotta fill the position when somebody's on vacation. It's a big brain move. Facts. Secret <laughs> seller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Barry, yeah, we don't. That's been don't my need biggest it. worry all this time. It's okay. Barry can worry about his cutout. Alan, it's because he's already planning on replacing you because you're about as interesting as a cardboard cutout. Consider. Um, yeah, like I said, we're just gonna we're gonna finish this. This chapter before we call it quits. For tonight. Standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me, but that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. Do you want <laughs> me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No, I thought so. <laughs> I thought it was a spot on impression, actually. Wow, <laughs> can you look at that thing? Alan? Wash your ass, I really Alan. With this Viking crap, did it, it's not crap. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Oh no. Right? Alan wishes he were Barry. Alan only wishes he was as cool as Barry. Barry's an idiot. But like, in an endearing sort of way. <laughs> Love Barry. Pick up. We all spend uh, oh, pick. Night spring. Man, somewhere to back memory. Hey, living. remember when I got you that gig? The your first real, real writing job. What got you started? Ooh, is this one of your episodes? In night spring. The dream of dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I the uh the dialogue, just like the little banter between Alan and Barry is just very good. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Are you implying that I use it like a battering ram? Is that what you're is that what you're trying to tell me, Alan? Cause I'll do it. The Old Gods of Asgard, the 1975 Ragnarok Tour, by, uh, Be On by Celestial Wrath and Fury. Great! Okay, let's get out of here. Excuse you. Hey. 
Have you considered just letting me leave? Man, I shot you in the face with a shotgun. I think... There we go. <laughs> I think you need to stop coming at me when I do that. God help us, it's an alarm clock. <gasps> <It's so laughs> you can't just demand the songs. I can I can try, but I, I can't promise that it will be in a song, okay? Hold on, let me get rid of this man first. I think we can make it through here, Al! Fuck. Can he stop wandering about? Oh, he was already, he, he already went by. Okay, uh, Kitty Cat Trio update. Anything done in Evolver is a song? I mean, sure. Hold on. Is that, look. Look, that'd be giving you like that'd be like giving you double double a redemption. But you know what? But you know what? I think I'm willing to do that. I have to open up voice mod though, and then I'll give you a, a quick rundown on the beans. This is just you trying to uh to extend stream. I understand. <laughs> Hold on. Voice mod is, is loading. It's gonna be a minute. <laughs> Hang on! Wait, voice mod, come back! Why are you, why, 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 why aren't you, why aren't you loading up? Voice mod, please! There it goes. Alright. You wanted, uh, you wanted that kitty cat trio update, right? But you wanted it in a song. So here it is, kind of. Because I can't just, I can't just sing on cue. I can't just make up a song on cue. But, uh, cats are doing great, in case you were wondering. They're fantastic. Lania is over her health issues, for now. For now. Um, we'll see... We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> um, she she likes to steal my blankets. She has decided I have a I have a fancy pillowcase that is just for her now. But if I leave the lettuce blanket unattended for any amount of time, she will claim it as her own, and that's unfortunate for me, but wonderful wonderful for her. She's currently passed out under the desk, which is why I keep looking over here. Because she's just, she's just sleeping. She's out. <laughs> but she's doing very good. Um, and yeah, just, like I said, we're, we're through the worst of the health issues that we were having with her. Um, she's been doing much better. And so here's hoping that it stays that way. Also, yes, tiny thief. She is 100% a tiny thief and we love her. But also, this is my lettuce blanket. Maybe I'll buy her her own lettuce blanket eventually. Um, Devo is also doing very well. He is a crybaby, as we all know. <laughs> but especially over the last few days, um, it's been getting kind of stuffy up here, so I've had to like open the windows up a little bit. Uh, just to make it a little less stuffy and he freaks out. He still freaks out to this day. It's it's been since February. <laughs> he didn't have he had his he had his two weeks of outside in February and he is still tripping out about the smell of the outside. Um but he's doing good. Yeah, the mother the outside <laughs> 
it comes for me. Um, but <laughs> he is wonderful and lovely and like officially just chills out at night now when we go to bed. Um, he will wiggle around a lot when I'm like, at, when we're first settling into bed. Uh, cause I'll like try and pet him and he'll just be like, ah, you'll get all freaked out about it and just want to wiggle always. But, um, I will wake up multiple times throughout the night like I do. And he'll just be, he'll just be passed out at the end of the bed, like pressed up against my legs, just content and happy as can be. And that's lovely and wonderful. So he's doing very well. And Farley, rare cat, is a lot less rare. Um, well, he's been a little more rare the last couple week or the last week or so, just because, like I said, it's uh, it's been warm up here. But he comes and hangs out all the time, and he likes to he likes to hang out with Lamia, and she'll allow him to hang out with her. They'll lay next to each other, and it's very sweet and very precious. Um, but he's a good sweet boy. He is currently downstairs hanging out with uh with my dad. Since my dad's gotten back home, he has been Farley has been inseparable from him. Um. He came up a little earlier today, uh, which was great, but he just, he just loves my dad and it's very good and very perfect. So there's your, there's your kitty cat trio update with Evolver. So it's a song. And now we're, and now it's normal cache. I think it should be, should be normal cache. <laughs> Um, but yeah. Really? I thought I had turned it on. Well, I'm sorry. There was no... I'm sorry Evolver was not playing. <laughs> I'll, uh... I'll make it up to you by making the... The Dilf song. The best possible Dilf song it could be. But yeah. <laughs> it's important to know what's going on with the kitty cats. You gotta know. You gotta find out. We gotta tell ya. Um, I will gladly deliver. I just, like, at this point, I don't ever have much to, like, fill y'all in with. Everything's been good with them, um, which is great. <laughs> Wait! I remember the Dilf song. Vaguely remember the Dilf song that I sang. It was basically just boys by Lizzo, but Dilfs instead of boys. Right? <laughs> was that the Dilf song? Did I... Did I remember a song that I made? Holy shit. Um. <laughs> I need you to know that I'm fully invested in all of your pets. Wow. Those geezers had quite a production. Like. Oh, you know what, Al? I need to know about all my friends. Cats. Yep. Sell the stuff online. Maybe get a reality show. Release a new single. I like big dilfs. Itty bitty dilfs. Mississippi dilfs. Inner city dilfs. I think that was the song. I'm pretty sure it was. I like the, the... I don't remember the rest of the lyrics anymore, but that's okay. What are we doing, Barry? I wasn't listening. I was thinking about Dilfs. <laughs> that was it? Okay, good. Good. <laughs> do you... Do we just want me to rewrite boys so that it's all Dilfs? I like cute dilfs with the bow ties. I couldn't remember the bit before that. <laughs> it was the, the cute dilfs bit. I remembered the bow ties, but I couldn't remember how to get there. Um, but yeah, would that would that satisfy as a dilf song? If I if I had the energy for it, I'll even make a video that just flashes all the spyro dilfs. Yeah, the whole song! <laughs> no half measures. <laughs> Any 
anything for you, Sam. Honestly, most, most things for all of you, really. <laughs> I would do a lot of things for all of y'all. Genuinely. Um, we get sappy here a lot about how much I love you all. But also, I fucking love you all. <laughs> I mean, I could do a bad flute. Does that? Does someone have a flute <laughs> that I can borrow? <laughs> As you I don't know how to play the flute at all. Um, I had a friend in middle school who was an instrument genius. Literally could pick up any instrument and within a couple of days could do... I'd have to get some could, like, first. play practically any song on it. It was wild. She was wild. Um, she tried to teach me how to play the flute at one point, and I was like... <laughs> it's not easy. You would be shocked. I see the building that had to be the Anderson's home only. <laughs> All the hot cross buns. Um, no, but I mean, like, she would play, like, simple songs, but things that were still just, like, wild. Needs to be a recorder player in Six Foot Smell Limit. I could do a, a bad, bad rendition of, uh, My Heart Will Go On with the recorder. <laughs> They are an eclectic mix. We love, we love six foot smell limit here. <laughs> it's important to showcase every artist's ability. No matter what they're playing. What is happening? Not. Please! <laughs> <laughs> I have to reload, I have to reload, I'm gonna get the rush! <laughs> okay, um <laughs> Six foot smell limit a hundred percent needs a cowbell. And Luna, if you are willing to fit uh, fill that position. Let's fucking go. Please, sir! <laughs> oh no. No! I'm just rubbing my face into the fucking hay! Um. <gasps> Do it! It's important. I love you, Sam. Enjoy. Enjoy your time with Lord Barbecue. Thank you for stopping in and saying hello and just being a wonderful, beautiful human being. I will get, eventually I will do, I will rewrite voice for you so that it is, it's about, it's about DILFs. <laughs> Specifically, the Spyro DILFs. And it's gonna be beautiful and great and I don't know how to stop this fucking beast. This isn't doing anything. Ah! <laughs> I like, I mean, I know, I knew, I knew you were talking about the person, Lord Barbecue. But also, I like to pretend that. Maybe you were talking about the food. This is not ideal. Um. <laughs> Bye, Sam! <laughs> right? Give Alan his own tractor. Give. Give tractor! This is not going well for Alan. In fact, this is going quite poorly for Alan. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Always, always.
always getting boobs. Never not getting boobs. Are we done? Are we done? Alan. Alan, listen. That's not what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. Can I defeat the harvester now? just leave goals as i don't know do a murder that's just that's a thing now um it's fine we did it <laughs> okay please let me let me out let me out i would like to leave i don't want to open the silo door for barry um <laughs> it's okay it's acceptable. I guess it's fine. <clears throat> uh, this is this is the modded version of Stardew Valley where it's suddenly a horror game. Don't worry about it. Um, hey, okay, hey, game. I am over here, kind of in the direction that you want me to be. <laughs> Too busy looking at the mini map. Oh god. <laughs> That's okay. How's it going, Luna? <laughs> Genuinely? When people don't announce that they're they're here, I sometimes just forget to say hello as well. And I'm just like, you're just here and part of the conversation now. Which in an in like on its own is kind of a, a welcome where it's just like, this is fine and acceptable. Um, <laughs> we've just accepted you into the conversation. Let's go. We love you. But hello, Luna. Welcome in. <laughs> Shit's wild here. Hey, Barry? <laughs> it's all good. Okay, can we... Stop looking at all the bad flashing lights. Is this... Uh. Is that you out there, buddy? It is. Yeah, it's me. Hang on. <laughs> hey, let's go, man. <gasps> Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese and chilling. This is a good combination of things. I approve. Open it. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate now. Open it. Open it. Hey, let's go. I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. Also. This farm is a crazy place for crazy mac people. Mac and cheese! Mac right and home. cheese! I love mac and cheese. Uh, <laughs> fucking love mac and cheese. Barry, come on. No, this was my sign! I called it! Barry! Uh, old gods know the truth. We love the Andersons. Hello? I guess we better check the fuse box. Mmm, <gasps> toilet coffee. This is it's fine. It's fine here. Um also yeah, this is uh this is going on much longer than anticipated. Move! <laughs> the power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Toilet line thermos. You know, for when you need to get wine drunk on the toilet. When you're fighting for your life and need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay, excuse you. Coming through. Excuse you. 
Uh, you know, this place looks kind of legit. <laughs> like, oh, God, no, the truth. Yeah, you told me that before, lady. Also, right, you drinking coffee, you're gonna be pooping pretty soon. Might as well just... Uh, make it happen. Pick up the manuscript. Come on, Al, let's get the light Save on, a step, huh? is what I was trying to say, and then my brain decided to just shit out midway through my sentence, as it usually does. We need to find where it's coming from. That's it's the message coming... that Anderson's talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Barry, I need you to move a little faster, please. That's gotta be what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. I love Lamp Lady. I'm excited to see Lamp Lady again. This is the part of the game where I I remember nothing past this point. I do remember the ending, but I don't remember anything between now and the end. <laughs> and even the end is a little, like, iffy. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. Way ahead of you, Barry. Yeah. What the hell? Alan, no. Now is not the time to get drunk. Don't listen to Barry. I could write ten books a year, and and they'd be the best. I write books more that books than I no, read. You couldn't. That's right, I couldn't, but I could, cause I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those fruits and be a, a, a booze millionaire. Oh my God, they're gonna die. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. <laughs> I, know. Is, I hate I this. Know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like H. John Benjamin. Oh no! I can hear it though. I can kind of hear it though. Oh no. be here anymore is that the end of the chapter oh my god it's not <laughs> that's fine this seems like a good place to end though we'll get through this cutscene and go from there <laughs> diver's aisle <laughs> you know what no fuck it let's go why? What is happening here? Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. I'm proud it of you, was Fruity. A crazy, drunk and, dreamy. and yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. This has to be there, like an out of the last bit of this bird like this cabin. Was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned Alice? the lights off. Alice. Yeah, it's the lights went out, Alan. Can I not I go up? I remember thinking I caught Can't. a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that. The next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Alan? I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Buddy. Chill. Yeah, I don't remember this Alice. at all. Jagger had Alice. 
so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Slowly float our way on up here. It's fine. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. So she floaty. Must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice, I am stuck in the corner. I am stuck in the corner. I got out. We're fine. Oh. <laughs> Thought that was going to be the end of me. Alice? She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. Bam. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's hope. something, that's for Cauldron sure. Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to <laughs> That is correct. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. The biggest bitch of them all! <laughs> the wicked bitch of Cauldron Lake? You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. <laughs> the way that cut out, though. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Me! I... No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week. Almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. To bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending. <laughs> everything and everyone. I mean, I could have told you was that. Weak and far away. But I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I want the light to set you free. You oh, wow. Zane looks like life. shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed <laughs> by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Ellen, this is not how you drive! He did it so bad. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna God, pay this for man. it. <gasps> okay, great. 
I hoped that that was gonna be, like, the end of the chapter, um, or episode, or whatever the fuck they're calling it. Uh, so maybe two more sit-downs? Three, I guess. Previously on Alan No, no, no! <laughs> Let's, uh... Oh, no. Wake. Under the I just wanna. The presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. I just wanna exit yeah, I out. My editor, Game. I just wanna exit out. You won't let me exit. Options? Nope. Nope. Holding story would make Alan more wakes and more up. <laughs> Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I just wanna. I just wanna exit out of the game. Creative. My mom gave me this old exit out of the game. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. Your fault. You're gonna but it's great because this it. next chapter is going to have a uh, lamp lady. And that's exciting. Okay, quit to menu. Thank you. Yes, I'm sure I want to quit. Um, great. This went much better than I was anticipating. I was expecting to struggle a lot more than I did. <laughs> Just given the fact that it's been a week uh, since we played. But we got through the chapter, which is very exciting. Um, we got through the chapter and started a new one, right? Because we didn't, we hadn't finished the previous chapter. Whatever, we we we've accomplished a lot, and that's that's nice and exciting and lovely. Um, all right. Well, we have gone over time, but that is acceptable. I wanted to, and it kind of made up for us starting a little bit late. Um, but. Let's go ahead and set up a raid, shall we? Um, who is on? Who is streaming? What friends are around? Loads of friends. Uh, B is still streaming some Stardew. Lollyflux is on doing some Overwatch. Princess Neezy is doing some It Takes Two. And Bunno is doing some Divinity. Um... Any of those sound good? Does anyone have any suggestions, recommendations? Um, if not, y'all want to go say hi to Bunno? I think it's been a minute since we've... Alright, let's go hang out with Bunno. Uh, as per usual, thank you everyone for hanging out and being here. Um, I am glad that y'all seem to have a good time. <laughs> Again, I'm just, I'm very happy to be back. Um, reminder that this week we've got a lot going on. Um, Friday we're gonna stream some Cemetery Mary since it'll be on Steam by then, um, for our afternoon stream and then we'll do some stuff in, uh, the server to celebrate New Year's with all of our buddies, if people are interested in that. Um, I'll make an official announcement a little later. Um, and yeah, and I'll see y'all on Wednesday. Until then, go send the love over to our friend Bunno, and I will see you next time. Take care of your dang selves, and have a great rest of your time zone. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>